Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I am taking in CC's orchids, and we're going to do a repot slash rescue. We're here in the kitchen, and first things first, I'm just going to take these little critters, and I'm going to put them in a bucket of water to get the roots all loosened up and everything. And let's see what we've got here. Um, take off the clips. Um, I don't know, they don't look that bad. They honestly don't look like something I would have been worried about. I've seen worse. I've rescued worse. I mean, the flowers have obviously gone on this one, but... Let's see. Oh, it's sitting in water. That's not good. So we're just going to kind of give it a dunk. Try not to get the leaves of the crown wet. But, uh... Yeah, all right, I'm just going to dunk it, dunk it, and get everybody wet, and I'll worry about drying the crown out with Q-tips and whatnot later. So, yeah, it's possible the problem is too much water. Um, so, we'll take that, and we're going to do that to both of the orchids and uh, see what see what I can do. Pull out the stakes. This one still has flowers in it. And I'll bet that it'll keep blooming. It's definitely not missing any water. Let's see if I can shimmy shake it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna dunk it. Dunk it. All right so all the aerial roots can get wet and uh, yeah too much water which is a uh, okay we're not focusing here uh, is a pretty common problem with orchids I mean, phalaenopsis you buy at the grocery store now with my own I don't dunk them like this I wouldn't get the crown wet because it's a pain in the butt to get them dry again but in this case because the whole orchid is going to need to have new media um, and get cleaned out I'm going to soak it in uh, lukewarm water. I'm going to try and get rid of the old media. And then after that, I will bring you back. Okay, we're back. I have cleaned all the bark off of the orchids. And then I have scrubbed the pots and uh, sanitized them. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to do some cleanup on the roots. You can see some of these roots, these, these are dead. They're completely flat. They're like a piece of string. And we're going to cut back to some place where it's good. So let me see if I can put you down and you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know how people do their YouTube channels with a phone. I am not doing good at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and I'm going to, they don't look bad at all. I know she thought that they were dying or something, but they are not in bad condition at all. They were a little overwatered. You can see where this is squishy. This has been sanitized. Where am I at? Um, let's see. This is my bonsai scissors. They've been sanitized in some alcohol. And I'm just going to cut off everything that's bad. Now just because these are white over here doesn't mean they're bad. It just means they've never seen the sunlight. So in the grand scheme of things, CC, your, your orchids are not in bad shape. You've lost some roots, but nothing to be ashamed of as perhaps your, your cry for help <laughs> thought maybe they were in bad shape. But I've rescued far worse things that were in the hands of professionals. So you may actually be on your way to being a, a good orchid mama. You don't have to worry about it. So cut that off just so they don't rot and cause a problem. And I'm not going to change the bark. The, um, I did take out a core. There was a little foam, not foam, but like cocoa peat core in here. 
I did take that out because that's just going to keep everything soft and wet. But just looking at everything, that's really all that's bad. And then, of course, the stem is done. So we'll get rid of that. But other than that, this orchid, that's not even off the orchid I was working on. Okay. So there's two orchids here. These are nice solid roots. Going to cut that. I'm left-handed and I cannot make scissors work left-handed. I'm going to do it right-handed. So there we have it. It looks like most of the roots are going to be fine. Probably just pull these ones off a little. I'm kind of concerned. I think I shouldn't save this one. It's got a good one at the end, but it's rotten in the middle. I'm always conflicted about that because it is cutting back good roots. Um, but there's a lot of good roots here. A lot, a lot, a lot of good roots. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other orchid over here. This one still has flowers on it. Still looks good. But looking at this orchid's roots, aside from a little bit of a desiccation problem with this aerial root, I don't, everything else is nice. That's one root out of all of these. That's amazing. It looks great. So then what I'm going to do is what I do for my worms. Okay, so the bark chips look pretty good. Some fine bark. Doesn't look messed up or anything. So what I am going to do is I am going to plug in my solder iron here and I'm going to poke some more air holes in those orchid pots. So that takes a little bit to get going so I'll bring you back in a bit. Okay, now I have this thing heated up and all I'm going to do is poke holes. Okay, which I apparently cannot do more handed. So I will bring you back when I poke more holes. Alright, there we go. Uh, please note that you should do this in a well-ventilated area because poking holes in plastic creates a fume that is not good for you. So this is about all we need just to get some more air to the roots because, uh, you know, the Phalaenopsis is an epiphyte and would naturally be growing on the side of a tree. So I am going to keep the um, bark that it came in and if I had to guess, I'd have to say these were probably Walmart orchids, looking at the brand name. Um, and that's all I'm going to do, is I'm just going to take this and I'm going to pot the orchid up around in it. So, one of the things here, I'm just going to put it back in. And the rule with Phalaenopsis is... If it was inside the pot before, it is okay for it to be inside the pot, but if it was sticking out of the pot, like it's an aerial root, it has to stay outside of the pot or it will rot. So that is the story with this, and this one was mostly um, aerial roots. So just kind of shake, shake, shake. And keep going. I'm going to put the stake back in so it can hold on to itself. I think that spike might have another flowering left to it. I'll put that in the back. And then just keep, keep filling the, the bark in there until it's done. And I will bring you back when I have accomplished that with two hands. Okay, here they are. They are back in their pots, and I'm just going to take some paper towel and stuff it in the crown like that. Usually take something pointy, like part of a steak that I might not be using anymore. Gently tappy tappy to keep the get the crown dry again. Paper towel to dry off the leaves. Um, get any bark that's messed up around there. And there's one thing that I do that I'm not sure whose videos I got it from, 
but I rinse off the roots with some peroxide. Um, and then any disease that may have uh, come from wherever they came from um, will kind of hear it bubbling. So it's, it's cleaning off something. And so I'm going to drain all of that and then flush it with regular water. And then we will call it done. I used uh, all the same bark, used the same pots, poked some more holes in there for some more air for the roots. Uh, cut off one stake per. I think I might be able to rebloom this one here. I think that'll rebloom. And then that's it for CC's orchids. They didn't need rescued. They just needed some repotting and a little trim. Oh, come on, focus. All right. Thanks guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, I guess there's no mud here. Better not be. If you're not a member of my family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing, it, ring that little bell icon. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me and Cece's orchids. And everybody, have a good day. Why do I keep hitting that orchid? Stop it.